uh, here I am performing the route 53 and what is the the benefit of so route 53 is nothing but highly available scalable and cloud DNS web server so what will route 53 will do so whatever you setting web pages like your name server your IIS uh, IIS web, web pages and your load balancer so it will convert those static web pages to a, a name server so whatever your IP version 4 whatever is IP IP version 6 addresses it will it will convert to a name server so yeah so for performing the route 53 first you have to search the AWS so there are lots of services first you will you will not find route 53 here if you if they will stating this content changing every time so yeah here is a networking a content delivery part so if you can't find here you just you just search it here so here are my recent search uh, which I previously visited. Here is my route 53 page. So as you can see, I have two hosting zone previously I created. So first create a hosting zone and then it will work. But before before you have to create a domain. So AWS also provide a registered domain inside AWS console. It is very good, but it will charge you more. As you can see. Uh, you can just type any any name you want in your websites so uh, it will be in it will be charged according to this plan but i will advise that you can you can use the free hosting websites such as godaddy or whatever you like you can just search on the internet and when you log when you successfully create any web any any hosting uh, the uh, the DNS site and you register it and then you have to perform this site so here here you can also do that just like my name is I have already created my uh, my this domain and it is successfully registered so before that so let me create you uh, a new host are for you okay so yeah the first thing you need to create a hosted zone so why? So hosted zones are basically hold those information which is uh, needed for the route traffic. So it is first thing to do in in a, uh, for the route 53. So click on create hosted zone. It will tell you the what your domain name is. So here I have previously created. So uh, I just write your domain name here if you want to just comment such as like it, if you have multiple domains you have to distinguish what the domain is for you can just write those comments yeah here's my domain is for and uh, type we are hosting this website in public hosts or not any virtual private cloud so it will be available, available on the front uh, all over the internet so just click on it to create this one and uh, once you cre uh, create uh, the hosted zone, it will be something like this one. After successfully create a record set, you just need to edit first. So here I set the IP version address. So you have to first type in a type you have to choose a IP version four addresses. This 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 name as a default, and by default the allies the this button is will tick on the no so you have to tick on the yes first and an ally target this will this is basically is a thing that what is your your name server the the sources came from so whatever your s3 website endpoint or your load balancer name you have to just just uh, click on it here so you have to set here. So alliance, alliance like I have set my my elastic load balancer here. So what my my whatever my the websites and my instances are running on this balancer. So I have choose this Dino LP load balancer here. So you have to choose your your S3 website endpoint here or whatever you if you have load balancer it is well and good. And for routing policy, I have set it simple.
and I have choose the target health which is no I don't want the evaluate target health to be checked every time and click on the save record set after the record set is created it will really take some time to register this to your newest domain to uh, console so and route 53 so one is when it's done uh, it will take some time first uh, you will see the, your new record set here and your hosted or something like in the dashboard you will find yeah just here if you want to check your domain registration is, is successfully registered or what is the status you will find this on the, this page and the status so it will tell you it will be registering registering the all time and after the some time it will be like you also get some notification via email that your domain register is successfully created in via route 53 and you can see also the last update when it's created first so uh so how we you can check this one so just need to go to the this address okay so in your web server whatever your dns name so you just create any route 53 just enter mine is like anki dino store dot and so here i testing my domain here Anki Dino. So it is. It is previously there. So let me check a new one. The Anki Dino Store dot ML dot thing. Okay. So yeah. When you enter the IS because I set up my web server in my, some instance which I created. So it will it will first run the IS one. So you have to just add the slash here and your website name. So here my website name. Okay, which is this and just click yeah as you can see it is running on my domain and my website and it is loading my content here as you can see the whole content where is came from as you can inspect element here yeah you can see this image will be running on some s3 bucket that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers.